Get up! Get up! Get up! Look, I am imprisoned a million miles from home in a Ren Faire nightmare. Just let me die in peace. If you die, I'm just a meaningless bauble that they bury you with. And I am fine with that. Just leave me alone. You know what? None of this is my fault. This is all your and, fucking fault. And tell me fault. how exactly this is my fault. Can we just not talk? Fine. Fine by me. Suit yourself. I'd love a bit of silence. Fantastic. <sighs> you say another fucking word. You know, I never thought I'd miss the Hell's Kitchen courthouse. I doubt you'll be squeezing your way to freedom through there. No shit. Of course it's locked. Damn it! This is going nowhere! Did that piss bucket do something to annoy you? No. You know what? You did. Because of you, I'm not getting back to- New York? New York. How hard is that to remember? Mm, maybe it's hard to remember as Vambrace? If memory serves me right, you weren't exactly in the best of spirits when our paths first crossed. I'm not sure why you're so determined to return. You know what? I'm just gonna use magic to bust us out of here. It isn't advisable to use your abilities in front of them. Why not? They already think I'm in cahoots with demons! But they will hang you for being a heretic. What, like a Salem situation? Do you expect me to know what that means? Look, we, we did it your way, and now we're gonna try it my way. <laughs> did I just do that? Quick, put this on. Who's there? I will free you, but you have to put it on and do as I say. Okay, it's on. You. You're the one who stood up for me in court. Why are you doing this? Because I believe you. But we must hurry. How did you sneak past the guards? I prepared a tincture of slumber baked into a pastry. Hmm. Looks can really be deceiving. Let's go before they wake. Wait. Where are we going? What's your angle? Angle. She did defend you in court, and right now, she seems to be your only option. Fair point. All right, wherever we're going, there's got to be food. Well, this is serendipitous. You're telling me. Did you say something? What? Uh, uh no. <laughs> Please, after you. You sure this is a good idea? I mean, aren't you gonna get yourself in trouble? Don't worry about me. Besides, I couldn't just stand idly by while they treated you so unfairly. Who are those people running the trial? You mean the Council of Sepul? They're the leaders of our city. They settle all our disputes. Judge and jury all rolled into one, huh? Efficient.
As you can see, our land suffers. Everything that corruption touches... It breaks. Yeah. I saw it up close. It's real fucked up in there. Uh, not pleasant. Indeed. Athia's all but lost. Where did the break shit come from? I'll tell you soon enough. We must keep moving. So where are we going exactly? We should make our way to the lower city. The lower city. Got it. What were you even doing at the courtroom? No one has arrived from outside the city for many years. Everyone in town wants to know who you are. The price of notoriety, I guess. After what you called the break shit. Uh, let's just go with the break. After the break occurred, people fled their villages. It's appalled as the last bastion. Damn. I would advise staying off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You know, we should stay off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You're right. Wow, nice digs. Some schmancy houses. This is where the nobility live. Ah, yes, the Upper East Side. Technically, we're in the north of the city. Far out! She can't have got far! It appears they've noticed that you're missing. Head for the shadows and keep moving. Stick to the shadows. Great idea. Why can't you be more like her? She likes all my ideas. You are safe now. Uh, thanks. We are close to where I live. Come, I have food. Bit of a half-hearted thank you, I must say. Nobody does anything nice without wanting something in return. I have trust issues. Hmm. Do you trust me? <sighs> well, you and I have is an unholy alliance at best. 
I couldn't get rid of you even if I wanted to. She did just risk her own life to get you out of jail. Point taken. Plus, she promised me food. And don't you want to know what she wants? It's quite the mystery. More interested in the food at the moment. We can speak freely here. I am Odin Keen, daughter of Robian and Callista Keen. Well, uh, I'm Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. I don't know how to respond. It's okay. Boring story. I'm over it. Liar. My father was a notable cognizant. Cognizant? Cognizant. You say tomato, I say tomato. Tomato, tomato. You are very strange, Frey. Cognizants are Athia's most highly respected scholars. And my mother was a general. Oof, that is a lot to live up to. Wait, was? I've been on my own almost my whole life. I know what that's like. I don't have any parents. I had some foster ones, but they never really stuck. So you must feel the same way. That we got royally screwed? That we must help others. Tomato, tomato. This is my home. You live in a bar? Uh, above. I like you more and more. So about that food? You had this on you the whole time. I needed you to follow me, Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. Hmm. Just Frey's fine and uh, well played. Well, thanks for the jailbreak lady and the apple, but uh, this is where we part ways. Please wait. I need your help to save my homeland. Uh, mystery solved. That's not happening. The circle of bending light, the rushing sound. That's what brought you here, yes? You want to go back home, don't you? I may be able to help you. I'll give you to the bottom of a drink. Nice. Looks like one of those medieval-themed bars. Sorry, I didn't see you. Give it back. Come on. Second rule of pickpocketing, never give back what you stole. It's the first rule. Don't get caught. What is it anyway? Something ain't worth crap here. Well, if it isn't worth anything, why can't I have it? Nice try, munchkin. Now scram! Pint of your finest ale, my good sir. Oh, hell of a kick. You guys do not mess around. All right, let's hear it. This isn't gonna last long. My father researched the phenomenon known as the Tirana extensively. Tirana? The tunnel of light you traveled through. I believe his work holds the answers you need. I could give you his findings, and... Here it comes. In return, I want you to find his research notes on the break. They are... In the break, right? It does not seem to have any effect on you. So they say. Many have tried to find what's outside the city, but they don't get far before... Before what? You are the only hope we have. You're special. <laughs> okay, you obviously don't know me. <sighs> I want proof. 
Follow me and I'll show you. And thank you. I, I haven't said yes. Do you believe her? I suppose anything is possible. Some chance is better than no chance. I do not want to go back into that hellscape. Come on, it will be fine. I'll be with you after all. Not comforted. Is this, then, your folks? Yes. It was painted when we were at one of the Cognoscence guilds. Father was one of the Cognoscence of Janoon. He had the foresight to move his work to Praenos just before the guild and Janoon fell to the break. So your dad's notes are in Praenos? Yes. He brought me here to keep me safe from the break. But it wasn't long before he went back to finish his work. That was 20 years ago. I never saw him again. And the break eventually overtook everything outside the city. Could you tell me about him? He was a brilliant man, beloved by many. He was close to finding a way of slowing down the break, maybe even reversing it. People put their faith in him, believed that he would make the world how it used to be. I'm trying my hardest to continue his work, to keep hope alive. Here, these are his notes on the Tirana. Yeah, yeah, this looks familiar. You can have this after you help me. Quid pro quo. I get it. He kept his notes on the break and read journals like this one. I need you to find them and bring them back. Okay, so I go and get the journals, bring them back, and then we're square. That's the full extent of my savioring. I will do everything in my power to help you get home. You have my word. Cross your heart and hope to die? You wish me dead? N no, no, it's a, a phrase we have on our... <laughs> Forget it. I shall pretend those words were never uttered. Good. Okay, I'm in. Why not? It's not like I've got any better options. Oh, this is good news. You're truly helping the people of Athia. Uh, not why I'm doing it, but yeah, sure. If you're planning on heading into the break, you'll need to get some rest. I'll go in the morning. You got anywhere I can crash? Crash? A crash. A, a sleep? Oh, of course. Follow me.
You can use this room whenever you like. And I'll prepare a change of clothes for you. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. What a fucking day. Still can't tell if any of this is real. And yet it is. Now rest. You have another big day tomorrow. Now you looked like one of us. But your shoes betray you. These have gotten me out of a lot of scrapes. Where I go, they go. The kicks stay. So it shall be. Here, you also need this. It's a map of Athia that should aid you on your journey. Here, I've marked the Cognizance Guild. Perfect. Thank you again. Tanta's blessings. You too, whatever that means. Maybe you should grab an apple. An apple a day. We'll keep Frey's hunger at bay. Such a poet. So, how do we get to this Cognizance's guild place? If I'm reading the peasant girl's map correctly, we'll need to leave the city by the south gate. All right, let's get going then. We're still a ways off, aren't we? Not too far now. Hello there. Can I get you something? So, you're guild-bound, I hear. Guess you hear a lot of things. 
That I do. There's not a lot happens in this town I don't come to know of eventually. Huh. No idea if he can be trusted, but we might as well see what he can tell us, wouldn't you say? Horton's a bit earnest, but she's got her head screwed on, and you won't find a kinder soul in Sir Paul. Granted, there are those who think she sometimes sticks her nose in where it doesn't belong. You can add me to that list, that's for certain. But Dad, Robian. He was well respected enough that everybody knows her heart must be in the right place. Used to be a very good customer of mine, that one. The Cognoscents used to study things we mere mortals couldn't hope to understand. Old Treaty used to say that one of their books was worth more than a hundred loaves of bread. That's all I get from the guy who knows everything? I told you, it's town I know about. And that place wasn't inside the city walls last time I checked. Come on, it was better than nothing. Don't you think you've had enough for one lifetime? Now that's what I'm talking about. Some complex flavors going on here. Hmm. Connoisseur, are we? All right, come on. Don't hold out on me. What's the secret ingredient? Hey, I can't tell you that. It's more than my job's worth. Well, suit yourself. Horden's putting a lot of faith in you, you know. I didn't ask her to. Oh, charming. Well... Be seeing you again soon. This is the only pub in town, after all. <laughs> oh, come again. Hey. You like that place, don't you? Do I? I guess the vibe in there is acceptable. Oh, to be young in a familiar face at the local drinking hall. Yeah, sucks being you. Tantas blessings. Hey, on. Who the heck are you? You're not the one they're saying came from outside the city, are ya? Well, just don't go causing any mischief. You hear? Maiden, a moment, if you please. Pray, lend me your ears. I have a fine song to play you. Very well. Then allow me to regale you with the ballad of the enormously clever person of Sipar. Is that really the best title he could come up with? Well, did it speak to your soul? Did the doleful melody conjure images of the encroaching miasma, the unearthly cries of its foul denizens, the unlucky inhabitants of this fair city, myself among them, cursed, never again to venture beyond its walls? Again? Have you ever been out there? But of course. What manner of minstrel would I be? Did I not go wandering over hill and dale? In my dreams, of course. You, Bart! Escaped criminals roam the streets and still you do not cease your racket. There is a crisis afoot. 
Forgive me, but there is always a crisis afoot. Well, you may have a point there, but nonetheless... She's a guard. I, uh, guess I'll be on my way then. Wait. You. You're... So sorry to see you go, fair maiden, but go you must. And quickly. <clears throat> that was a little too close for comfort. But we got away, thanks to the fop. Dream wanderings indeed. Yeah, and that song. What the hell even was that? Roger that. I'm so glad they have cats in Athia, too. Why, exactly? Do you have some special attachment to the ridiculous little creatures? Huh? Uh, what? No. Miss you, Homer. Feels a little more... Damn it! I mean... Well, that was a short trip. How the hell do you get out of this dump anyway? I know a way. You. You been following me, kid? No. But I know how to help you. Really? I know everything around here. Mm-hmm. And what's that gonna cost me? An apple, maybe? So you have been following me? Sure. You seem hungry. <gasps> Just follow me. Don't you want to know my name? Not really. It's Olivia, and you're Frey. Everyone's been talking about you. I guess I'm kind of famous around here. Does famous mean hunted by the gods? I call it finders keepers. Damn. Did you steal all this stuff? Not all of it. You're growing on me, kid. Sometimes people have no idea what they're throwing away. I often make new things out of this stuff. Yeah. If you get hurt, this will help you heal. All right, nice. You'll have to give me the recipe. Of course. Let me teach you how. Try it. People really do throw a lot of stuff away, huh? Yes, a lot of useless rubbish. Wait, this might come in handy.
Hey, Shorty. I got you something. That thing you said, is it worth crap? No, not my cell phone. And thanks for not swiping that again. I don't steal from friends. Friends? Cool. <laughs> Uh, well, as your friend, I got you this. Wow! What is that? Are you a Tonta? <laughs> it's a pen light, and no, I'm not a Tonta. I... What's the deal with those guys anyway? They were the strongest and most powerful woman in Athia. They all had gifts. But in the past, they used them to help protect the land. But one day, they will again. Come and save us. Uh, listen, kid. From personal experience, you gotta look out for yourself. People only really get saved in fairy tales. You're wrong. You'll see. All right, well, uh, I got a split. Um, you said you knew the best way out of this place? Well, if you climb over that wall there, that should help you get to where you want to be. Cool. Thanks. I'll uh, see you when I see you. I'll keep the city safe while you're gone. Sure. You do that. Why don't your trust issues extend to the street urchin, I wonder? Because I've been there, all right? Let's just leave it at that. I think we're nearly there. Well done, me. Did you find something? things. Are they people? I believe this is what happens when humans are affected by the break. Then I can't kill them. What choice do you have? It's either them or you. So this is what Auden meant when she said people who come out here don't make it very far. It explains why the people of Sepul prefer staying inside those rules.
Something's there. What shall we do? I could pretend we didn't notice. These break zombies, they're everywhere. I'm sure they were nice people before, but come on. Is that really it? Craving a slightly stiffer challenge? Eh, maybe a little. Looks like the coast is clear. Let's not get careless. Better than nothing, I suppose. I'll be the judge of that. Those are powerful magical... What the hell was that? Did something happen? I don't know. I feel more powerful, I think. Hmm. Well, more power is always a good thing. Yes, very fortuitous timing, am I? Say. Break time's over. Let's get moving. who can't even open the door to leave. Why would I need to? I have you.
A little modesty wouldn't hurt. According to the map, it is, yes. Seems like the Athians are into tall buildings, huh? It's said that the more towers a land has, the more prosperous it is. And the taller, the better. Guess that's one thing this place and home have in common. Although in this case, it might be more accurate to say the more prosperous it was. Before the Tunters went mad. Looks like this is the place. Seems like it's seen better days. Well, you're not gonna find what you're looking for out here. I know. I know. <sighs> Great start. Great. Talk about a needle in a haystack. How am I gonna find these damn journals? He must have kept them somewhere safe. They contained his last great works, did they not? Let's make our way upwards, shall we? Wonder how many floors this place has. Looks like the break didn't come this far yet. You think those journals might be here? Perhaps we should take a look around. Hey, Cuff, can you read what it says here? How can you not read their language when you can understand their words? Beats me. You or Mr. Languages share commonalities across many dimensions. I suppose I'll have to teach you then, will I? Hmm. This book contains some interesting tidbits about mysterious shards that were found after the break occurred. So... Break shards? Well, if you... The Tantas painted unique patterns on their fingernails with their blood in order to unlock certain special powers. And depending on what patterns they painted, those powers would change accordingly. Oh, okay. I guess that could be useful somehow. Now that I did not expect. There's rather an intriguing connection between those two books, you know. Which is... Your break shards are said to be imbued with the blood of the Tantas. 
Perhaps you could use them to get the same power. Seriously? Okay, nails aren't really my thing, but in this case, I guess I can make an exception. I suppose the journals you were looking for weren't here after all. I took my chances. Let's just keep looking upstairs. Consumables? I'll try not to consume them all at once. Feels like it's getting brighter. Could that be one of them? This isn't what we're looking for either. Whoa! What the hell is that? It appears to be a person under that getup. No shit, Sherlock! You need to know who he is. There's only one way to find out. Okay, Mr. Axe Murderer. I'm gonna come towards you and take off your mask. You're gonna be cool or uncool? Okay, it looks like we're going with Uncool. Uh, so, I'm gonna let you chill in my grass prison while I go and look for the journals. Oh, I did not say there were gonna be so many. Oh, pardon? Mario! Wait. Hold on. Robian? Damn ghost. H how are you alive? Everybody thinks you're dead. It's the hue of blue. And the bloomers, too. I, I don't understand. I thought you wrote about it in the Red Journals. They get inside and... Sometimes I can't... But I try. I have to. Looks like you're losing the battle with the break, buddy. Yes, but you... You look like you're winning. How? I don't know. I am so far from home. I I'm trying to get back. I, I, I fell through a... Um... Whoosh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a, a, a voosh. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta get back to where I gotta be through a, a, a voosh. Voosh, you will get back to where you need to be. Whoosh! Yes! Whoosh! Show yourself, Interloba. Company. Stay here. Company. Company. Ooh. Time for tea. Wonder whose voice that was. Whoever it was, we need to be careful. I can't believe.
Robian was alive this whole time. The peasant girl is in for the shock of her life. We are the soldiers of the Tanta Sila. You are in our realm. You are to come with us. That's not a thing that's happening. You need to wait. For an opening. Wait, who the hell are these guys? Mindless automata, whose only loyalty is to silence. As fuck. They're merely husks. They feel nothing. Not even pain. You good? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. I think we lost them. He's completely mad. Yeah, too far gone for anyone's good. Corrupted by the break. Well, break Bob here is the best shot I got at leaving, so... That's quite worrisome. To be honest, I don't care what you think. I do have an investment in your decisions. Where thou goest, there go I and all that. Yeah, well, whatever magic bound us when I got here, hopefully will unbind when I get back. Pity. I was growing so fond of our partnership. Mm, I wish I could say the same. You say something, dear. No, oh, no. Just thinking out loud. Wonderful. I do that a lot. Or I think I do. Maybe I don't. Hard to separate the voice inside my head from any other. You know what? 
I understand you completely. Tell me about where you come from. Uh, it's a city much bigger than Sepal. It's called New York. Oh, ah, uh, yes, I know it. You do? Or I don't. The, the name is sitting there on the edge of memory, peeking through the fog. Or maybe I dreamt it. it. It sounds like a place I should know. Perhaps I've heard it spoken of. Have you told me of it? Maybe that, maybe you said something. Yes. Oh, he's gonna be essential. Knock it off. Shit. Is Sapal on fire? It does appear to be smoldering somewhat. Come on. What happened here? She walks among us! Tanta Sila. She seeks the one called Frey. Me? Your arrival must have sent tremors across Athia. Your presence here has the Tanta frightened. Frey! You're back! Olivia! What is all this? I was wrong. She didn't come to rescue us. You did. I I'm no hero. Tanta Sila has Odin. Odin? My Odin. Bob! Break Bob! Your concern for the madman is admirable, but first we must stop Sila. It's okay, I'll try and fix this. I can help. No. Absolutely not, you're gonna stay here. And find somewhere to hide. Why is not Sila in Sepal? She's up in the square! You have to hurry! Tonta Silas in the city, and she's out for blood! People are dying! Now, tell Tanta Sila where she is, child. Where is the interloper, child? The one who dares trespass upon my realm? Tanta Sila. I am Rodney King. Father. Rodney. I served faithfully and Tanta Sinta. My wife Callisto was a general in your army. Have mercy on my daughter. Robian Keen. I've not heard that name in a long time. You have to save the peasant girl. She would do the same for you. Ah, oh, fuck. I know. We have to do something. See if you can sneak up behind her. No way through. Hang in there, 
Arden. I'm coming. Try to blend in with the crowd. I could blend in a whole lot better if you shut the fuck up. It was your entreaties of you time. Your daughter hates the interloper. And what's worse, she refuses to reveal her whereabouts. Someone must pay for such treacheries. Understand. And Listen to me! <laughs> hey, come on. I'll explain it later. Angelo! Stop! You must stop! She can save us! She can end your madness! Oh! What the hell kind of craziness is this? Carter Sila has the power to change the state of matter and being. She was using one of her minions as a vessel. Whoa, wait, what's it doing now? You'll only hurt more innocents if we don't. Fuck. Got you on your toes now. Crap. What is it with flying assholes trying to kill me? Try and knock it down to the ground. Must be protected somehow. You're mine. Nice. Full steam ahead. Uh. Uh. Huh? What's up with our friend? Losing one's wings does make flying something of a challenge. Hunters are tyrants. The sooner you learn that, the better. What? No. Behold the countless fallen, and all because of this demon. You saw what she did. She will kill us all. Surely, Councilwoman Belette. Surely you agree with me? Yes. Seize her. No, 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 no. Th this young woman is our protector. She'll save us. He is as corrupted as she is. Seize them all before the darkness spreads. We will do nothing of the kind. Rogan Keen is wise beyond measure, and has always been a man of his word. Had we known he was still alive, he would be sitting on the council, not you. And this young woman has brought him back to us. 
Welcome home, old friend. Tantus Silas' attack shows us one thing. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. And how many further agonies must we suffer? Her presence has cost us too many lives. Councilwoman Belette is right. Tantus Silas will surely visit her wrath upon us once more. A clear majority. The girl must be surrendered to Tantus Silas at once. No need. I'll go to her myself.